take into account what we are going to talk, we're going to talk I mean, my, and my eight minutes initially about the remote operations of infrastructure services. I want to start with bad news, if the Zoom allows me. Yes. The bad news are, you know better than me, all of us we know, the big fat. We are moving towards the sixth great extinction. I will not go in detail of the data, but I'm showing this. Therefore, it's essential, it's of essential importance addressing the big environmental challenges and support knowledge-based strategic solutions to environmental preservation, in particular, the biodiversity loss. We, are, we must deal and tackle with ecosystems, scale, species, and evolution, DNA, proteins, and genes. Take into account the hot uh, ecological topics, the big five, biodiversity and ecosystem functioning, climate change, loss and fermentation of habitats, invasive valley species, compound impacts. Take into consideration that the earth must be considered as a single complex and couple system. Nothing new. At the same time, we need to monitor what is going on, how the nature works in order to provide the proper ecosystem services in a sustainable way. Not only because the fast there is a new body on economics of ecosystem and biodiversity, because everyone is talking about IPCC and no one is talking about IBES, for instance, the Intergovernmental Science Policy Platform of Biodiversity Ecosystem Services and the new economy based on ecosystem service. I will not go through what this ecosystem service is, solo to tell you that like what Eric as our Eric, European Research Infrastructure Consortium, Consortium has born to be to serve as a structural tool within the European research area, which also supports political decision making based on addressing societal challenges that demand scientific knowledge about global change, including citizen science activities. We're talking about the use, such as you are doing mostly of our communities today represented, the use of the state of art, big data, artificial intelligence, blockchain, etc in order to provide knowledge based on the culture of data, scientific evidence, and understanding through multi-scale modeling of species, trends and predictions, modeling of biological systems, visualization and discussion, prioritize new data captures with scale modeling species. In a very easy user-friendly way addressed to remote access from customers, depending on the nature of these customers, to all these services. And we are not doing this alone today here, plot this, Sophia, on the premises of this uh, conceptual uh, document facing e-biodiversity challenges together, the view framework based synergies between this call, like what Eric, this was the perfect excuse to there uh, join JBIF, Disco, IDBio, Setaf, TD, WG, like what Eric, all the Latin America and Caribbean community. Claudia is there. Hello, Claudia. Uh, from, uh, uh, she's a very active in working with us as well. All the cooperations, not only inside Europe, but beyond what is international cooperation understood beyond the European Union borders, limits. Our implication as well in United Nations Food Systems Summit in General Assembly, the recently held General Assembly, in particular, indigenous knowledge, research infrastructure, or what is the Fondo para el Desarrollo de los Pueblos Indígenas de America Latina, el Caribe. We can continue talking about our connections with Africa. Africa is also essential. Well, the Arab world, Arab States Research Education Network, the preservation of dry land biodiversity in the great, great green wall in Central Africa. And last but not least, for instance, agroecology as a key and outstanding topic to come. Okay, this is the context. From the perspective of remote access, which are the main challenges? The main challenges are how to integrate the heterogeneity or the distributed resources, data, publications, media, services, people interactions, and the scale factors, micro vessel macro scale. Our colleagues from EMEL, MIRI, Elixir, et cetera, Ukraine, they know very, very, very well the difference or the complementarity between the micro biodiversity, the meso scale biodiversity, and the macro scale. It's not the same to be in a laboratory as you, as the excellent, by the way, um, before a presentation before, and samples, collecting samples on the field, 
remote sensing, so from nanosensors till remote sensing satellite images and how to get knowledge from this for better decision making. At the moment, during the last five years, we have basically on a distributed data lake, we are providing from Lake Watch a lot of services based on an horizontal composability layer, a vertical composability layer, so that through catalog of resources, the comporter, fair funding, accessible, interoperable data sets, standard source ontologies, web services, virtual research environments, blockchain, Jupyter notebook, Casera, virtual research, network of communities, and all these distributed services. We are uh, making uh, a provision of these services dual engage with the European Open Science Club and the EuroHPC by providing innovation, for instance, based on the tokenization, socioeconomic valorization of ecosystem services in a very sophisticated but simple in use, user friendly for remote access to, customer, to, to, to customers, users, final users of our infrastructure. Okay. So you can see in this diagram that we're considering researchers and technologies communities. On the top, on the right, you can see public administration, decision makers, entrepreneurs, citizen science, scientists, sorry. So how we can provide them this remote access in a secure and user-friendly way? We are doing that through the workflow paradigm, you know better than me, and how we can provide visibility and traceability of activities performed by these communities. At the same time, we're providing access through the cloud, look below, through EOSC and the supercomputing as demanded by the users. So we are talking about citizens, government, entrepreneurs, researchers. We're talking about people dealing with crops, livestock, forest, environment. And we need to provide the proper data access, data visualization, statistics. This structuring and supporting tools to improve their decision making and the data management. But how are operating in a remote way the corresponding services provision from both top down and bottom up approaches? How can we operate? Taking into account the distributed nature of Lake Watcher, our common distributed facilities that you can see in the map, and beyond, as I told you, Latin American, Caribbean communities, Africa. From the Spain and the Iberian Peninsula in general terms, we are trying to use the model, you know better than me, recursive model based on the Russian dolls. So from the region of Andalusia through the so-called Astarte watch, Astarte because it's the goddess, the Phoenician goddess of the Mother Earth, trying to create a canonical shape form to take benefit of not reinventing the wheel, but using existing infrastructure, duly federated with the ones provided by the European Union. And in that exercise, we are trying to use the best of FITSEM uh, uh, in, uh, standards, DevOps, until DevOps, by the apparent iterative improvement of our existing developments so that, that a great international ICT is behind. We're talking about 47 scientists, 39 ICT direct experts hired by our research infrastructure, hired, distributed throughout all the pan European geography worldwide based on the concept of how to provide a zero trust network system architecture. So from the cybersecurity point of view, from the point of view of the intellectual property rights, from the point of view of the, of the premises based on the research data alliance, the persistent identifiers, and so on. In a very simple way, from the point of view of the infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, or software as a service, whatever is the nature or the future, all the, nature, all the service we are pro providing, there will be also a, a very easy user uh, interface. And you can see on the left, a perimeter and network security and monitoring system guaranteeing the proper, proper service provision. And in turn, depending on the, let's say, emo emotional psychology or the customer's requirements. Again, sets of technologies, decision makers, public operating sector coming from, uh, citizen scientists, and entrepreneurship companies public and private companies for blue growth and green deal development. Taking into account the, the monitoring all the infrastructure as a whole is a real challenge. We are defending, supporting open standards. And this is a example of how we are using 
uh, Nagios, uh, or, or just to monitor Monasca, Kubernetes, over OpenStack, and all these services, basically, all the best of the open distributed open science, open source, and open hardware standards with, by providing interest APIs in a distributed way. In fact, these days, we have launched the version they said was a success of our live block system for the monitoring, traceability, anti tampering blockchain system for distributed services, but also tokenization and recognizing, uh, recognizing the activities performed by the users in a remote access way. And all of these are related to service legal agreements. Service legal agreements that can be understood as smart contracts being based on the paradigm of, like, of, of, of blockchain, not only inside our communities, but third-party services to be provided, to be accessible, to be identified, to be discovered, then retrieved, and then monitorized, monitored by our system. So I'm finishing. Answering the positive question, just to start this very interesting part. You are posing the question, what are the key Sorry, actually, um, Juan, uh, before we get into the questions, um, I would oh, okay. ask the other um, panelists to also give their view and introduce themselves. Ah, perfect, perfect, perfect. No, Thank I you have, very much. I, I went to the, just to initiate the, the, my opinion, and that's uh, excellent, excellent. Thank you so much. That was what to tell and that to the, 